This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. It was crazy looking at social media. Like, we are like infantile. We're in this infantile hey, mentality. The problem with this social media thing that they've got all of y'all hypnotized with, okay? Right. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, got, you know, we have black people now who can't live without going on Facebook every day and confessing something about their life. <laughs> That's true. This is how they live. This, they live through that. I mean, uh-huh. they put all their business out there. This is how they live. I was in the grocery store the other day, and I was trying to pay for something, and the woman had her phone back there scrolling. I say, that <laughs> don't let that phone make you lose your little job, okay? Mm. I say, because you don't know who in line. I say, what if I was somebody who was going to tell? That's right. I say, you be telling. You do that on your mm. break and everything. You're not supposed to let me see you scrolling no phone while you're trying to take my order. Mm-hmm. You know. But uh, that's how it, you know, that's how it is. And all of that information we're putting on there, all the pictures, all them connections, all them everything, all them things, what we buy, what we like, you know, there's some greater positioned white people who are using all of that for marketing strategies. Right. To put, find out where to put resources. And they're building a dossier with the FBI on everybody that's on there. That's why if you say certain words on there, type certain things in there, they'll be at your door. That yeah. tell us they monitoring that thing daily. They got it set up where if you say certain words or make certain inferences, they they come they got to come check you out and cause you a lot of grief, a lot of you know hassle. That's so true. why black people think that when and and they got it set up where no matter what you put on there, it never goes away. Mhm. And now why we would think that that's something good and something we ought to be you know grabbing on. Plus the phone, the telephone thing, the same thing goes for that, you know, and talking on that. But now mm-hmm. here's a question for you, young brother. Tell me this. Mm-hmm. What is it that they all talking about? We didn't never talk to each other that much without the phone before we start that before that got popular. What are we talking about and to who are we talking it? What is that about? We don't nobody want to be alone with themselves no more. Right. So they right. have to stay on the phone. That's, I mean, it's true. At, at the bus stop, you go anywhere, everybody that be on their phone. Yep. You know, people don't have to be social no more. Like even back in, I look at the movement days back in the fifties and the sixties. Some guys had to go door to door and stuff and talk to people and really work That's with the right. community That's and right. build a community. Now we have no community. Right. You know, people just in a space. Like I know I go to parties and folks be out of their phone. They're not in the moment. You are missing out on so right. much stuff. Right. They're not even there at the dinner table or nothing. They on that phone. Right, and that's a problem. It is a problem. That's a disconnect. That we gonna miss something, or uh, that somebody gonna contact us, and we won't know what they say, and it's an addiction. You know what's crazy too? People expect you when they when they text you a message, they expect to get a response in a nanosecond. I think that's crazy. Folks would have to get a letter back in the day. They went thirty days for a letter back in the nineteenth century. They were happy. <laughs> oh, it was to be one sentence. They were happy, but people want you to text like a novel to them within like five minutes of them texting you back. They think it's an info. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I mean, what, what's going you on? when they had the pagers and mm-hmm. you had to look at the pager and then go find a phone and call? Right. You know, and I remember when everybody had the pagers. And so I should have figured out that, okay, in a minute. And the cell phone is the only product in American history that the white people 100% underestimated. They thought uh-huh. the cell phone was just going to be something that businessmen wanted to use and everything. Mm-hmm. And look how that thing exploded. Everybody in America got a cell phone. Yeah, they got rid of the pay phones, too, within 20 years, right? <laughs> you can't find a pay phone. Now that's a necessity to have a cell phone. You can't, even, you can't find a pay phone, huh? Right, you can't find <laughs> it. Uh-huh. In the emergency, you can't? Uh-uh. And uh, uh, it's just a lot of those issues. But uh, that's, they just underestimated that market. And look what it has turned into today.